I admit I am die cut crazy and in this video I am sharing many fun cards made with new fall and a Halloween dies from my favorite die companies. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Heshek and I am a proud member of the design team at dies dot 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 to die for at shop scrapbook101.com. This spooky bridge card was made with many new dies from the September release at dies to die for. Now of course all the details on each of these cards will be on my blog and links to those blog posts are in the description box as well as links to the products I feature. So this is a bridge card so you can see how it stands up with the bridge with the gooey um, top there. Um, we have some ghosts coming up from a um, bridge there and then this opens and we see spooky and then a hand coming up from a gravestone um, with this fun um, gate that opens up there and that's the first card that I made. Now I love interactive and stand-up cards and um, Karen Berniston just came out with a new release um, full of great Halloween and um, other uh, dies and I've used those and the rest of the cards I'm going to show you. So this spectacular slimline shaker card um, was made with many dies from Karen Berniston and also this is from Tonic Studios as well as this shaker envelope for the front but just look what happens when I slide off this belly band a jack-o-lantern pops up he's very very cute um, he's made with Karen Berniston's Bitty Ball, and I'm going to be using that in the card that I show you how to make. This is also a new layered die. Now, um, I also love to make fall cards as well as Halloween cards, so um, I used another a new die set to make this card. The, the front is um, some older dies that I have, and again, all the details will be on my blog, but just look what happens when I open this card. Can you see how that gate fence pops out when it is opened? And isn't that a lovely fall card? with that interactive iron fat fence that pops up when the card is open. Now I used that same iron fence on the front of this card um, and I just used it flat and um, added some spooky Halloween and then when this card is opened look what pops up. It is Count Dracula and he is saying ha 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 happy halloween and guess what the number of the day is it's 31 and there are 31 bats if you wanted to count them and i'm sure my grandson will when he gets this super cute count dracula pop-up card So this is what the iron fence uh, pop-up die looks like and um, I used it on both of those cards. And then this is the card that I am going to show you how to make a version of. Uh, my favorite way to close pop-up um, cards that I make with Karen Berniston's dies, especially when they're double pop-ups, are to use good strong magnetic discs and um, I have these from Basic Gray um, that I used on this card and the one that I'm going to make um, with you. Um, another fun thing that I learned how to do in a card class that I just took from Jennifer McGuire was to combine two separate dies. Um, uh, when you look at this, this is a beautiful uh, die from Dice to Dice for called Echoes Succulents Background. And I know that's going to make a beautiful card, but I was just looking at it going, well, I like those pieces. And if I, and then if I put those on another card, you just get, um, you can cut anything out of these. And in this case, I cut these pumpkins out of it. And look how fun they're decorated now, just by combining two dies. So these are round pumpkins, and then this is a flat 
Deboer, which I'm going to show you a different version um, in the next card, and of course a beautiful um, fall tree. Um, just in case the person that I'm sending this to doesn't really celebrate um, Halloween, I made it more of a fall card, but then look what pops up when I, this opens. It is a pumpkin man and he is super cute um, and um, decorated. See how I decorated these um, the cape in the same way, this time using purple and that orange. And I have happy fall, you all. And the magnet is hidden behind one of these flat pumpkins, um, but he lays flat to, to male, more or less flat. I mean, you'd need an extra postage, but it does get down pretty pretty close with that good strong magnet and then pops up just adorable um, so what I used to make that was the new character add-on add-on one which you can make as you see as you can see that Dracula and also what I'm calling a pumpkin man I suppose you could make him feminine but he's a little pumpkin man to me and also just the single pumpkin too so all of those can be made with this and we're starting with um, Karen Berniston's Bitty Ball pop-up um, I have a whole bunch of, vi of uh, videos I've done with this making the different characters and in this case um, we're going to make this um, pumpkin man um, and so we used a few of the pieces from here, but mostly um, what I used was this main piece here and then the decorator um, pieces here, which I'm going to show you, and then um, pieces from this die set, which is the character add-ons. So um, I'm just going to describe to you how I made these bitty balls. Um, Karen Bernstein, of course, has the best videos in the world for learning how to make um, things with her um, dies. Um, every, every die set has a um, video that's very, very good. Um, and I put a link in my description box to um, one I've made in the past where it describes step-by-step step how to do this. But if you um, get the, you, can't, you have to have the bitty ball die set, of course. And you're going to, each one of these balls takes two of these pieces um, so in other words you cut out four and then you cut out the decorator pieces that go on top and they also strengthen them so my top one I have all uh, the bright orange on top of this orange polka dotted and the bottom one has um, purple kind of like what be like his maybe pants or something the bottom of his outfit is purple and he has a cute little bow tie um, and those two um, are ready to go so um, we have all the pieces we need here um, I have um, put together them all you don't need to see me watch watch me do that or else it's going to take forever but this is the top piece that's going to go on the top of his head but first we're going to put his face together so um, I always keep them on a paper plate so I don't lose them all um, we have um, a mouth and um, eyes in the shape of triangles and of course you're not going to be able to see it on here anyway so I'll just go ahead and put them on but um, the eyes are two triangles that um, fit together and you attach them over um, a uh, one on one side and one on the other so let me just show you that so um, I think what I'll do is I'll put the glue right on because I haven't had this open in a couple days so get that going so I'll put some glue on there pick it up with the tweezers and I'm going to attach it right along I guess the fold um, I guess where these two pieces come together with glue and 
and then this one is going to go right next to it. And if I lay it flat and line it up along the edge and press it down. And you can see when it opens that um, uh, comes apart, but when it is together, the eyes are together. And then we're going to repeat that on the back of these this eye, these eyes. Make sure they line up straight with each other. doesn't seem to want to do that. Let me figure that out. Okay, we were just putting the eyes on and I just had to get them lined up um, with the um, bottom of the eyes being relatively straight. Um, getting these next to each other up to the edge and then getting the two eyes together and then um, I have a triangular nose that I'm going to attach and that just goes of course right in between the eyes And then um, there's a big uh, wide grin, and we're just going to put glue on the center part here to start. Once you get that to set up. then you're going to cut the two pieces there off and attach them right next to them get my fingers to work today so I'm just going to attach this right along there So you can see it's not hard to do. It's a little, a little uh, putsy, but once you do it a few times, um, there we go. I want it to be up along the side. So the grin kind of continues to. When it you know goes flat, it separates and then it um, lines up. So this one is going to go up here. to get it off my pick and line it up get it to 
set up. And then um, we have the um, top piece here. Um, we cut out two of the vine pieces and put them together along with a stem. And um, then um, Karen suggested uh, bending these edges just a little bit with a bone folder. And then um, I'm going to put that on. So our face with our um, stem and vine is ready to go. Um, on this piece um, we have um, some feet that I've added and I already put the bow on and his little decorative pieces that makes him look like he has an outfit. And um, these pieces here are his cape and they have a um, straight edge if you can see that. Um, and again, I've decorated with that double um, layer of dies on there. And they go um, right next to the bow piece. And this edge here, this, this, the uh, corner edge, lines up to the back so his um, cape um, is open towards the front. So um, we're going to put a bunch of glue on here. and then line this corner up with the back corner of this piece. I'll let that set for just a second or two and then I always like to flatten it, make sure it's straight and then push it down. So and then this one here, again we have a corner, and this is going to line up with the corner of the piece next to him, his center. Make sure it's straight uh, while well, the glue sets up. And then if you want to, um, you can give him some little hands. And these pieces here, along with the feet, just came out of the bitty ball set. And so um, I'm going to have some little hands sticking out here. Uh, <clears throat> and then... Um, we took a couple of the vine pieces in the purple and made like a collar that's going to be in between the head and the um, body. I think we turn it so that you can see his bow. Okay, so now we have the head and the body, and um, we're going to glue them together now. Um, here. With a good strong glue. If you flatten it out, and make sure these two pieces are lined up. And then press that glue. And then I like to take a clothes pin and just let it sit together there for a minute or so. And let me show you um, the pieces. Um, I have um, already put together. Um, I've taken a uh, piece of cardstock that is five and a half by 12 and I scored it at one inch and at five and a half inches from this side. So this is five and a half inches, this is five and a half inches, and then this piece here is one inch. And I added on um, 
Taryn Verniston's flap and closure um, die piece here and it's under there that I hide a magnet and then under the paper here a magnet is hid and that is what closed it so um, I have used um, many dies I decided to go with the teal pumpkins which are very in right now and then this um, die set here one of these that I uh, have here the flat pumpkins from dies to die for are called flat white boars b-o-e-r I've never heard of them but I looked them up and sure enough they are an a white or off-white pumpkin so um, I decided to go with that color scheme on this one and made another fall tree so the teal pumpkins are the round pumpkins so I'll just show you here quickly I use those flat white boars I use the fall tree set from dies to die for I used a couple word sets this one is lose fall words and you get this big die and it's got all sorts of words in it um, as I um, show here and then um, I also used a word from the lose um, just basic words so these are really fun script words um, and you get a lot of them out of these dies and then I used the little metal fence on another one of those cards um, and um, a um, the round pumpkins so um, this die this uh, piece is ready to go um, it is the size as I described um, I used the happy fall you all and some more white boar pumpkins um, and this piece is ready to go to attach our pumpkin man um, I just added a piece of wide washi tape here and kind of the fall colors to um, cover up that um, line and then I covered up the magnet here with another pumpkin so um, that is ready to go um, this should be ready to go um, as you can see our pumpkin man um, goes flat when you close it and um, he has a real fun cape on and um, he is all dressed up and ready to be attached and on the bottom here um, I have added um, a, a large brad that got cut caught under my feet but I can fix that <laughs> and if I hold him flat and put that through um, this rounded square here um, that's ready to be attached inside the card now these are kind of wide um, but um, you can fit this one into a five and a half um, piece um, but the ones that the other um, Dracula one actually his wings makes it you really kind of need a five by seven version um, for that one so um, I have um, tape uh, good strong tape on the bottom of this piece and get him centered so that he fits in here so he pops up and then lays flat and the card closes can be mailed probably with two stamps and that opened um, to delight the recipient. I had great fun making all these fall and Halloween cards with my favorite new dies from Karen Berniston and Dies to Die For. And I hope my cards encourage you to give some of these ideas and products a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.